for commuters like Daryl Red. I take the light rail probably like four or five days a week. The light rail is a great option. Overall, my ride experience as far as the light rail has been really pleasant. You know, but like I say, I'm always on the lookout. He says he feels safe. But most people don't have my law enforcement background, so my uh, my head's always on the swivel. But wasn't surprised to hear about two violent attacks that happened last week. I think it needs to be more law enforcement presence, but I understand staffing issues won't allow that. Trains on July 28th, the King County Sheriff's Office says a rider hit a man in the head with a rock. He was taken to Harborview. Two days later, deputies found a man on the train with stab wounds. He was also taken to the hospital. These photos obtained by King 5 News show the violent nature of the attack. And we have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of riders every month. And, you know, the number of, you know, um, assaults is still relatively low. So far this year, there have been 154 assaults compared to 143 assaults for all of last year. We're seeing a, an increase in numbers because we have a lot more personnel out there to collect data. Many writers weren't aware of the attacks. Yeah, I didn't know about it. In an email, KCSO said the sheriff's office prides itself on being transparent and sharing information about major incidents, but said nothing was shared about these assaults. Part of urban life, I think, and Seattle seems like a lot safer place to be than some of the other cities I travel to, so I'm just not worried about it. Sound Transit tells me that high traffic days are safer. For instance, when Taylor Swift was here, they had no issues. And expect the same for this weekend with Seafair. Here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.